Hello everyone, Ace here, and today we are back with another Ace Impressions, this time having a look at Das Boot. Which, for those of you who are not aware, is in fact a submarine simulator that came out in either 1990 or 1991. There is some confusion about the exact release date, however it is an early 90s submarine simulator. Although, admittedly, it's not a hardcore simulator, it's not like the Silent Service games from the time period or the later Silent Hunter games. Also, it is not like, however, more arcadey games such as Grey Wolves. There is s some more accuracy to this. For example, your torpedoes can actually be duds. Uh, you can as a feature and all that sort of thing. Now, of course, specifically, this game puts you into the shoes of a German U-boat commander during World War II, uh, commanding Type 7 U-boats. So, the few very a few flavors of Type 7s, but still Type 7s nevertheless. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into a mission. Um, you basically get a choice of five different mission per types overall. However, there is some RNG at play, so the objectives may change, as well as the locations of things. So there is some replayability to these, but it's not great. Uh, that said, the price of this game, for those curious, is at full price $7. However, right now it is on sale for $4.68. So, yeah, but anyways, let's go ahead and jump right in here. So our objective is to look for a convoy, and once we discover it, uh, report its position, then we are to attack the convoy, and after that, uh, we have to see if there's a carrier nearby, if we want to finish this mission in full. I'm not going to do all that. Instead, I'm just going to get to... The, uh, I'm just going to sink one or two ships and call it a day, really. Because this game can be a little bit lengthy in terms of the playtimes because it's a submarine simulator. Anyways, let's see if there's anything nearby. Okay, so there's a contact bearing 118 degrees, so I will go over here. And I will hit Alt-F to turn the ship in that direction. And we will start our merry little way. For those who are curious, by the way, this is one of those games where you do kind of have to memorize the controls before you actually get into it proper. Otherwise, you're going to be fumbling around for a little bit. But there is a quick reference sheet that comes with the game as well as the manual. Like I said, though, this is one of those games that came out in the era where you were expected to read those before actually playing them. So kind of a necessity here. Now, I did speed up the time a little bit, so we shouldn't have to worry too much about waiting too long. Uh, aside from while we wait, there is a radio room where we can receive messages. It is even possible to receive uh, coded enemy messages, and if you receive those, well, it's up to you to decode them using this here to do so. So it is a gimmicky little feature, but it does add more to the game more than it feel more than it seems like it should. And admittedly, I do kind of like cryptology a little bit anyway, so I digress. Now we could also use the radio room to get uh, to request to request a resupply so we can get our submarine repaired and rearmed as needed. No news yet about where the enemy ships are. Not even entirely sure what uh, was on the RDF there, what the RDF picked up, but I digress. That said. Once we do actually find an enemy ship, or any ships really, it'll actually show up on the map screen here, which will make it pretty easy for us to then go to the binoculars and find out what exactly it is. Of course, with ships from this time, with submarines from this time period, we want to do most of our work on the surface until we actually find. Oop! There's something over here. Not entirely sure what it is. Could be. A destroyer we shall see there is a mouse look uh, feature on this which is nice it looks like a destroyer but I'm gonna have the uh, first officer try to identify it it is a little too far away still yep an enemy destroyer and it looks like it has brought a friend so it looks like there's actually two enemy destroyers and it looks like they've spotted me, or at least one of them has. Maybe. Because it is turning to this direction. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to periscope depth. 
once we reach periscope depth, I'll then be able to pull up the periscope and Now because this it, we are below oh what Apparently I accidentally put us below periscope depth. Let's fix that. There we go. Some aircraft also good to know that we have found what looks like the entire convoy and that looks like a carrier in the background too so we even found the carrier hooray all right so I'm gonna try actually you know what no first I've got to take out the destroyer because otherwise he will give us a bad day okay let's try marking the target here first mark second mark we have the range he is within range and we have the speed of him as well. We fired an acoustic torpedo, which should home in on him. And I know how these destroyers can take multiple hits in this game, so I'm going to fire another just in case. Besides that, um, the first one could easily be a dud, or the second one. See, a dud. Okay, so we got one hit. Come on, hit me, hit it again. It failed to detonate. Okay, we'll fire again. This is tube four, so if it doesn't hit again... Okay, we're going to have to dive, dive, dive. Go to the control room. No, no, dive. And while we're out down here, we will reload our torpedoes. Okay, we will pick a magnetic torpedo there. Let's see what the con time to pull back up. Hopefully he should be far enough away that we don't have to worry about hitting him. Okay, we will reach periscope depth. And then we will, he should be behind us, and we should still have an acoustic in the rear torpedo tube, so. Depth charges, that's a problem, that's a problem. Periscope depth reached. Okay, he is behind us. Okay, we have him. He's down. Now, it looks like that is the enemy carrier. No, that's a destroyer, but that, surely that's a carrier. Nope, that is a destroyer, okay. But that's got to be, no, it's an enemy tanker. Okay, but what's that? Another enemy tanker. So we found the entire convoy here. Okay, so I will set course for the other uh, co surface contact. We will get the range on this guy. I want to make sure he's... Okay, so he is out of range. Good. So now, he is also running at 11 knots. So I'm going to send message that I have found the enemy convoy. Just going to send it in code. We're also going to report our position. So we've actually found a coded enemy message here, which is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and dive a little bit so we don't have to worry about getting ruined by anything. That should be safe. Now I will go ahead and decipher some of these message messages. So maintain contact. All right, so now let's go ahead. So this, I know, it's basically a case of trying to figure out which letters are where. I'm going to say that this is either B or C3. Nope, that is C3. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and see where this rest of this... There we go. We found it. Destination reached, currently in square C3. Perfect. Now, 
I can go ahead and actually turn around set the waypoint and we will actually rise up let's see what the damage report says nothing damaged awesome so yeah a good look at how the game runs I think okay now let's actually check the range on some of these bad boys I think once I make sure that the aft torpedo tube is set we should be perfectly ready to surface and then try chasing them down and then once that's done we can then carry on and try dealing with them that way I was going to make this a short video but hey we have a good opportunity to deal with these guys proper so we shall attack immediately perfect 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 now let's check what the binoculars have to say zoom in it look I can't tell what kind of ship that is if that that's an enemy tanker that is probably a destroyer yep and that is another enemy tanker so I deal with those two tankers plus whoop, batteries at 100 percent perfect so do we have a range on this guy he is outside of range which is interesting he also has air support okay so we are within range a little bit let's go to periscope depth I do not want to get caught out in the open with him shooting at me here he comes dive 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 I do not know if he's down yet he's down okay we got him all right so that is that ship done let's go to surface it we might have to set that twice but that's fine so we'll go to surface we will deal with the enemy planes and then we will finish off the transports and that should be it surface it is and yes you do actually you get to shoot at planes a fair bit in this game from what from what I've seen so and every now and then it freezes like that that's a bug for some reason where it does that when the plane crashes close to you but then it'll unfreeze like that after a few seconds so it is it's not a perfect uh, game okay come on Ow. He's down. Where is the other one? Where is his buddy? Here he comes. He's down too. Now we can prioritize checking how much damage we got. The torpedo room hull is damaged, but we can still put in some acoustic torpedoes some magnetic ones some looping ones let's see what the report says we are out of torpedoes so there's all of them in use that's fine for now I can use the overview here to turn a little bit faster if I really want although really the binox are your best bet in this regard so I will turn to this vessel I'm pretty sure this is an enemy tanker for 
first mark taken. Yep, he is still out of range. This guy, however, might actually be with... Nope, nope, still out of range. Yeah, he's going fast enough that apparently he's still out of range. Okay. Wow, he is actually pretty far ways away. Okay, I will use... Slow down. Oh, no, no, no. Let's see how close he is now. Range 260, Owl. Torpedo room has been sealed off. Well, that's lovely. So it looks like we're going to have to do this the good old-fashioned way. Okay, he's down. Let's see. Battery cells have been damaged. Torpedo room has been sealed off completely due to the damage there. But that's okay. We can finish off the other ship and then we can call it a day, I think, on this particular mission. We'll go alongside him here. See what his range is. He is still out of range, which is fine, I suppose. Make sure he's still... Yep, definitely a tanker. So it looks like we've managed to pretty much thoroughly thrash a good chunk of their ships here. We'll finish off this, and I think either I can finish the mission now or not. Here he comes. Okay. Ouch, engine room taking on water. That's a problem. Okay, he is down. Perfect. Now, I can report, using the radio room, that we have sent out or sunk... New message arrived. Okay, what's that message? Sighted shipping square B3. Uh huh. Well, I can send out that I have port mission status to date. Status acknowledged. Okay, now, can I return now? Let's find out. And if I can, then great. If not, I'm going to end the mission anyways. Even though it'll give me a game over for doing it. Yep, mission incomplete. Okay, unfortunate. But I will go ahead and abandon ship, and yeah, fair enough. Uh, we did 14,000 tons and shot down three planes, so not too bad. So is the game worth the asking price? Potentially. I mean, it is a niche game, and I can understand that the pacing is pretty slow and what have you, but I'd still argue there is still a market for this kind of game. But uh, yeah, in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.